Before starting this tutorial, I just want to remind you guys of something. Recently, I made a video reviewing a PowerPoint add-in called Power User. In that same video, I mentioned that each license is worth $220. And guess what? I was given 50 to give out for free. I will select 10 lucky winners each week for five weeks. So far, 40 people have won the license, which means the last 10 are left. If you want to win one, all you have to do is sign up to the SlideCount mailing list using the link below. And hey, I'll even throw in this tip of the iceberg slide template for free. If you want to learn more about the Power User add-in, just click on the info button on the top right. Thanks guys. Welcome back to another video from SlideCow. My name is Yoyo and together we're going to make your slides amusing. This week's video is an idea that came to me after a client asked me to really make his numbers pop. We are going to make our graphs really stand out on PowerPoint. It's really easy to do as well, so let's get right into it. Step one, find and insert a high resolution image. Okay, so assuming that you guys have a blank slide right in front of you, the first thing you're going to do is open up your web browsers and go to a website that provides high resolution images, right? For me, as you guys know, I use visualhunt.com. And the reason why I use visualhunt.com is because it provides us with all the licenses that we need and all the images are for free. And to be honest, they're gorgeous. So I'm gonna be searching for uh, cows, right? Now, I also want to make sure that the images I want to use for commercial projects have a commercial license or a commercial use license. So um, I'm gonna be clicking on this button right here and that just makes sure of it, right? It makes sure that all the images are okay for commercial use. I'm happy with this image right here. So I'm just gonna click on this button over here and then I'm just gonna go down and click on these dimensions over here and then I'm gonna click on download. Now I already downloaded the image, this is just for your reference only. Once you download the image, you wanna drag and drop it into your slide like so, all right? When you have this image in front of you, the main thing that you wanna do is you want to make sure it takes over your entire slide canvas, right? And the way to do that is actually quite easy. So you wanna move this all the way to the left and you wanna hold shift and drag out the image just like so. So now it's taking over your entire slide. You wanna bring it up a bit and then with this image selected, you wanna to go to format, you wanna to go to crop and you wanna crop into the slide canvas like so. So one here and one over here. Perfect, all right. And that my friends is step one completed. Step two, set up the transparent background. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to click on insert shapes and then click on this rectangle over here. And we're just gonna cover up the entire half of the slide like so. I'm gonna make sure this shape does not have an outline and is colored in a dark blue color. Now I would recommend for you guys to also use dark colors in order to provide that contrast, but it's up to you. So I'm gonna go with, let's say this dark blue color over here, that's nice. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm just gonna right click on this, right? Click on format shape. And in the solid fill color over here, you wanna change the transparency to around 15%. Now before moving on to the next step, you just have to make sure that you're setting out the margins within that transparent background, right? Because that's where all our elements are gonna go, our graph, our text, and our title. And the easiest way for us to do that is actually to put in a square within the square, right? And that's just gonna establish what our borders are and where our text is gonna go. It's actually quite easy to do, just follow along if you don't get it, don't worry, right? So what you're going to do is you're just gonna press on the square over here and press on Control D to duplicate it. You're gonna color it a different color, any color. Remember, we're gonna delete this later on, right? And you're gonna make it smaller by holding Shift and just dragging it inwards like this. Not too small, mind you. Something smaller, but not too small, right? So then what you're going to do is you're just gonna highlight both the square and the, um, sorry, the blue square and the yellow square. Go to Home, Arrange, Align, Align Center and Align Middle. All right, and that way you know that all the content that you have will stay within the yellow square, and then the yellow square will be deleted later on. Step three, add the graph with the text. All right guys, what we're going to do now is we're gonna add all the elements of our slide into the left part of our slide over here. The first thing we're gonna start off with is the title, and this is actually a perfect chance for me to show you the use of this yellow square that I have right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring out this title over here, copy it and paste it just to save some time. I'm gonna drag the text box into, right, the yellow box, only the yellow box, 
And the reason why is because when I delete this yellow box, everything is perfectly aligned. And that is exactly what we're trying to do, right? We're just trying to say, hey, this yellow box is the place where we're gonna put our content and then we're gonna remove it later on. That's all we're doing. This is just to make sure that uh, our text doesn't go off anywhere, right? So I'm happy with this. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually add our graph. Now, usually I'd say we have to go to Excel to make the graph, blah, blah, blah. But I'll make an exception this time because this is quite an easy graph to do. So insert chart uh, and we're just going to go to now. Remember, you can choose any graph you want, right? I'm just going to go for a column chart just for now. So um, we click that. I'm just going to delete this and just fine tune it. Bring that up over here. And we're just going to have fun with my ability to type right here. So love, hate, and neutral. So let's leave that and it's 100, 70, 30, 40. All right, cool. And we're just gonna drag that out over there. So we have four different bars for this bar chart, cool. So we're gonna close that up now and it's time for us to have fun. So the first thing we're going to do is color everything white, just white, super white. So this is white and this is white and this is white and this is white. This is just to make sure that, you know, everything can stand out where it needs to stand out, right? Um, let's drag it into the yellow part of our square thing. We already have a chart title, so we'll delete the chart title. We're also going to put the numbers within the uh, box itself. So we're going to delete the numbers. We're also going to delete these lines over here because there's really no need to them since we're putting the numbers in, in the first place. And finally, we are going to delete the really love, love, hate and neutral categories over here because there's no need for them either. We're also going to be replacing the line just under the bars over here. So just click on the line itself and click on format, shape, outline, no outline to remove it. All right, so we're just gonna add our data labels now. Now remember, data labels is the, actually the number for that specific bar or for that specific column. So 100 people, 70 people, 30 people, etc. To do that, we're just gonna click on the um, chart itself without clicking on specific uh, columns or bars. And uh, we're gonna go to design, uh, add chart uh, element, and we're gonna go to data labels, and we're gonna make sure it's in the inside base like over here. And uh, we can actually customize these well with our font. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change them for right now to uh, black color with Panton black caps. And uh, we're just going to increase the size of this just a bit like this. And you can actually use Format Painter, which is good for all of them. All right, cool. So now what's left for us to do is to actually take matters into our own hands and format these little charts over here. The problem, however, is that we can't do that for all of them at the exact same time unless we apply some uh, features or some uh, protocols that I'm going to do uh, right now. So I'm gonna teach you guys exactly how to do this. You want to click on the graph itself and press on Control X. And then you want to go to paste, right? But you don't wanna click on paste. You just want to click on, in the home tab, you just want to click on that black arrow over here. And then you want to click on paste special. And then you want to move it down all the way here until you have something called picture enhanced meta file. You want to double click that, you want to bring it to the center, and then what you want to do is you want to press on control shift G. Click on yes, because control shift G actually ungroups it and turns this image into a Microsoft drawing object, which is exactly what you want. So when you have this error message, click on yes. And there's always going to be a transparent background whenever you do something like this. So just click anywhere you want behind it and press on delete. So now you're just left with this, which is exactly what we're after, right? You wanna move this in the middle. You can resize it if you want, not too much, but you can resize it if you want. So I'm gonna move this in the middle over here. And now what we can do, right, is actually ungroup it so that they're all specific shapes. So now we can get to work. So um, I'm gonna click on all the different bars or rectangles over here. Click on format, click on shape fill, no fill. Then I'm gonna click on shape outline, but I want my outline to have a weighting of six points, right? Something like this. And then when I'm happy with that, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to highlight everything, press on control G to group it up, and I'm just gonna bring it up here a bit, just so I can make sure that everything I want is within the space that we have laid out for it, perfect. All right, 
So now I can do the same thing for my text over here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, click on the data label over here and I'm just going to make it white, spread it out across the thing and put that to the center. And I'm going to do the same thing for all of them. So I'm going to speed up this video right here. All right, cool. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to add that X axis, uh, little line that I showed you. And that's just a matter of just going to insert shapes, you know, clicking on this rectangle and making something super long like this. And you want to make sure it's centered in the middle of the, um, of the image. Let's make that a bit thinner, just like that. Bring it up over here and then just go to format, make it, make it white without an outline. And then it's just a matter of us adding our dot, our uh, sorry, our labels for the uh, categories over here. So really love, love, hate, and neutral. And the way to do that is really just click on these that you had already set out, bring them down over here, reduce their font size by just a bit, nothing too much, and then just type it in. So I'm going to go with really love, and then I have love, I have hate, and I have neutral. Can't spell. There we go. So we have neutral over there. Perfect. I'm going to make sure that they are all the same sort of alignment. So I'm just going to click on all of them by holding control like this. And then I'm going to go to arrange, align, and then we have align middle. And that is absolutely perfect. And then it's just a matter of us adding our text to go with the graph. So I'm just going to bring that up a bit and I'm just going to copy the same text that we have over here. So I'm just going to bring that here. And again, we're just going to cater it towards the yellow box that we have over here. And then when you're all done, when you're all happy, click on that yellow box that we were talking about before, delete it. And that I think looks absolutely amazing. Don't you? It really makes that no those numbers pop out to your audience and say, look at me, I'm important. And that's exactly what you're after. And hey, if you really, really want to bring contrast into this and you really, really want people to pick up on one specific point, for example, showing them that 131 said neutral, for example, that's absolutely fine. Just pick that up over here and color this into white and color this into, for example, black or the, that dark blue color I said. So that way they're like, oh, wow, he really wants us to focus on that 131. It can all be up to you, 100%. All right, guys, we've done it. We've always done it. Please, please, please do like, do comment, and do subscribe on this video. I really would appreciate it if you would. I also would like you guys to really visit slackcow.com. We do have a blog up, and this blog is absolutely amazing. It is incredible. It'll help you in the long run so much when it comes to slide design and with your work overall. I want you guys to become better people at work, at your class, whatever it might be, right? So um, yes, please do have fun. I'll see you in the next one. This is Yo-Yo signing off. Bye-bye. Thank you.